Hey, it's a great day to talk rehab, and today we're gonna to be talking lateral epicondylitis, tennis elbow, pain on the outside of the elbow, but it's usually not tendonitis. It's usually a chronic problem. It's been weeks or months before they get to our office. So it's really more of a tendinosis, which is a fraying of the common extensor tendon. So on Mike, we've drawn the tendons that come up, but they all attach right here on that little bone, the lateral epicondyle. Remember, bones attach to muscles like this. So if the tendon sore is pulling on a bone, that's why you get bone pain, even though it's a tendon issue. So it's a lateral epicondylitis. We gotta get fresh blood in there. We have to stimulate those muscle and tendon fibers to lay down new tissue and to get into the repair and remodel phase. Watch my video on uh, what is that pain. It explains all that. So Mike, hand me the lotion, please. How we're gonna treat that today is with radial shockwave therapy. Say hi to everybody, Mike. Appreciate you letting me use your arm again. So we're gonna use the Chattanooga 2RPW machine. It's a radial pulse wave. It's air driven as opposed to electromagnetic. And we're gonna set it up to get some increased circulation and stimulate healing. So let's say it was a relatively uh, inflamed but chronic uh, situation. Uh, I would probably only do maybe 1.2 bars, 18 uh, hertz really fast. So by going a fast pulsing, a little tender mic, a little bit, a little bit. Ooh, right there. Okay, so now we just learned something, all right? It was a little tender, about how sore was that on a scale of zero to 10? Six. A six. We don't want it to go past a six out of 10 in the tenor of the scale, okay? Maybe seven. So I would bring that down to maybe 1.1 bar, right? I'll need a little more lotion, Mike, because your green's coming off, all right? Just a little bit of lotion. So now it was really sore on the lateral epicondyle where that common tendon comes in. So I'm not gonna put the therapy that close. I'm gonna put the therapy around it. Now it may even come circumferentially from other areas. Remember, it's like dropping a pebble in a pond, creating waves, all right? Those waves circulate out. And by circulating out, you can get an effect on the target tissue, which is where that common extensor tendon attaches Whoop, another hot spot. So we're gonna drop down to here, okay? So we don't want it too, too painful. You wanna work around it. Now if that's sore, I'll come down here. Now it's not too bad. But if I put my finger here, I can feel those pulses going all the way up to that lateral epicondyle. So we would work the whole area from different directions, getting that effect, but the pain in that five, six range to him. Do it for 2,000 hits. Follow it with active exercises, some resistance tubing with your TheraBand, uh, add some kinesiology stretch band tape on it to support it, but some active therapy afterwards. And then if it's uh, inflamed the following day from the treatment, that's normal, but the post-treatment soreness should only last 24 hours, no more than 36. If they need to ice it, they can, but try to stretch it and use it to get those fibers to realign and get strong again. And uh, yeah, that's the treatment for um, tennis elbow using radial pulse wave therapy. So check it out, it works really well. Thanks for your time today.